to 57-year-old Ernest Williams or Nesto and 46-year-old Erica King or Erica Hughley allegedly promised an improved life for a Hold on to your chairs because there are horrifying new allegations of violence against minors against Ernesto that will leave you dumbfounded. And what's the most incredible aspect? Shirley still stands up for her spouse in the face of everything. Hold on tight because this video will reveal the truth and delve further into the scandal that is causing so much buzz. That's a toxic relation. Shirley is in the spotlight and receiving criticism from the online community. The main problem is that she is supporting Ernesto, her husband, despite the fact that he is being charged with serious crimes. Shirley went above and beyond by attacking him and his victims rather than just remaining silently supportive. It's a matter of making things worse. A genuine twist is that she is fervently pleading with the authorities to permit Ernesto to remain under her supervision. It's a perplexing action that has a lot of people baffled. Shirley's continuous story could easily rival any soap opera in terms of entertainment value. The subject and Shirley's husband, Ernesto Williams, is on the verge of going to jail due to a number of serious charges. However, the mystery deepens as rumors spread that Shirley may have been aware of his shady actions. Some others even contend that she assisted in his wrongdoings by lending a hand. Their relationship has been a minefield of red flags since the beginning. Steve Harvey, the ostensible love expert with a questionable track record, served as Cupid for Shirley and Ernesto. <laughs> for those of you just listening, a man is walking in the room. Interestingly, Ernesto was aware of the situation she was entering. Ernesto's criminal past dates back to the 1980s and over the course of 20 years, it has been damaged by a number of felony convictions and criminal acts. Many people wonder about Steve Harvey's ability to arrange matches after learning that he introduced Shirley to such a person. Insiders have said that Shirley was familiar with Ernesto's complicated past, nevertheless. They decided to take the plunge and get married since she believed he had turned a new page in his life. Ernesto appeared to have changed for the better for a moment. In Atlanta, he created a posh barbershop that catered to celebrities and even started a private security company. A nasty boy seemed to have been changed by Shirley. It turns out, though, that Ernesto's alleged transformation was nothing more than smoke and mirrors. He was back to his old tricks, making dishonest deals behind the scenes. A million-dollar fraud scheme and a lot of victims. This all happened through an alleged growth and coaching business. Part of it run on social... A high-stakes fraud scheme involved the formidable duo of Ernest Williams and Erica King. They offered to improve their victims' brands, missions, life goals, and social media presence by posing as business whizzes. Essentially position themselves as experts in the fields of business growth, development, coaching, things of that. Together, they concocted a complex ruse that combined parts of a classic fraud with a splash of fake-like counseling. The pair vanished after their victims gave them their savings, leaving a trail of broken promises and empty wallets in their wake. Surprisingly, they were able to con more than a dozen people, resulting in ill-gotten earnings of more than a million dollars. Request more and more payment, promising that those services and goods would be later provided, but never making good on those promises. It's interesting that at first, not a single client had the bravery to sue Ernesto and Erica. It appeared as though they were immobilized by the deception, unwilling to confront their con artists. But the cunning duo were in for a surprise from destiny. It all began with a complaint about Ernesto's rental fraud. He and Erica lived in a cute house that was close to Shirley's. But the landlord reached their breaking point and made a formal complaint after Ernesto stopped making rent payments for four months in a row. A more thorough inquiry of Ernesto's intricate financial activities was sparked by this incident. It was like a can of worms being opened when their fraudulent scheme was discovered. The investigation turned to the people who lived on Pine Grove Road, which exposed a maze of lies that Ernesto and Erica had skillfully built. It became clear as the money route was investigated by detectives that their initial suspicions were correct. The false house of cards that Ernesto and Erica had built was ready to fall. They were inevitably arrested after their deception was exposed. Justice started to work its way up these masterminds of fraud as soon as the curtain was pulled back on their complex scheme. The plot gets more complex at this point. You may remember that there were rumors that Shirley might be aware of Ernesto's illicit dealings. Prepare yourself for the shocking section now. Before the commotion started a few months ago, Shirley deftly removed Ernesto's name from her Californian property. Definitely a subtle play. This deft maneuver effectively prevented Shirley's house from being taken as Ernesto's property, 
even if Ernesto lost everything as a result of his offenses. What a clever plan to protect her bets. Let's now discuss what happened after Ernesto was arrested. A barrage of charges that would make even a law-abiding citizen dizzy were hurled at Ernesto. A whopping five counts of conspiracy to commit a crime were brought against him, albeit two of them were eventually dropped. When Ernesto's bond was set at a startling $15,000, his bank account experienced a huge decrease. However, there's still more. Additionally, he was charged with three additional offenses. Theft by taking, operating a credit repair business, and theft by deception. He even had the nerve to scam established business owners, as if conniving knave entrepreneurs wasn't low enough. You might believe that's the worst that can happen, but be ready for a startling realization. Legal records from November 18, 2021 reveal Ernesto's use of yet another sneaky tactic. He brazenly overcharged Palmer Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram with a bill that exceeded $1,500 and surprise, surprise, he conveniently avoided paying the cost. Once a con artist, always a con artist, right? Ernesto seems to be unable to break free from his addiction to deceit and dishonest behavior. But it seems that with Ernesto, the hole becomes deeper. Some very unsettling information was uncovered during the police inquiry. We're talking about offensive and explicit pictures and films of children under the age of 18. A complete shock to the system, yes? This discovery caused significant distress and shockwaves. Keep going though. Around Ernesto, the waters became murkier. This man is not focusing on a single wrongdoing. He has been charged with committing despicable acts against, get this, 11 youngsters. Can you mentally process that? The community was completely shaken when this news broke. The hurt and betrayal were intense, and it felt like a low blow. Also included in the victims is Shirley's daughter. Imagine her pride and joy being entangled in this mess. So what will happen next? The law must respond seriously in light of the severe allegations at hand. Ernesto has been sent a clear directive. He needs to keep his distance from the friends and relatives of his victims. There are no questions. It all revolves around defending people who are afflicted and protecting them from further suffering. This individual has to realize that such despicable behavior has consequences. Shirley is the next. You'd think she would be the first to sever her relationship with Ernesto after everything that has happened. Right? Wrong. She is sticking by him despite the terrible ordeal her family has been put through, which, let's be honest, makes absolutely no sense. She is actually begging with the courts to release him, I mean, it's difficult to comprehend, given what he's done. But there it is, this close connection between them, obvious as day. It's a true puzzler, and it leaves you wondering exactly what Ernesto has on her. Whatever it is, it's sufficient to keep her by his side despite all that is going on. Furthermore, it raises doubts about Shirley's motivations and the effect it will have on her reputation if she decides to support her husband in the face of the serious charges he is facing. Steve Harvey, Shirley's co-host, does not put up with this conduct, despite Shirley's possible justifications. Ernesto and Shirley even gave newlyweds dating advice while they were guests on Steve Harvey's show. However, Steve Harvey's image is in jeopardy due to the disclosure of Ernesto's criminal background and the seriousness of the charges against him. Think of the scene as it might appear to Steve. When his co-host's spouse Ernesto arrives, everything appears to be in order. Steve certainly didn't anticipate finding such gruesome material about Ernesto, evidence that appears to connect him to severe murders. Ernesto is the target of overwhelming evidence. Shirley doesn't express regret for her husband's conduct, which just makes the situation worse. Instead, in an effort to control the situation and maybe protect her assets, she attempts to have Ernesto's name removed off her property. According to insiders, Steve Harvey is actively trying to throw Shirley and her husband out of his life in order to preserve his own reputation. Their collaboration on the show appears to have come to an end. Now, while this entire circus plays out, people everywhere, fans and non-fans alike, have a lot to say about it. On YouTube, comments are flowing left and right, each one a tiny opinion piece in and of itself. Consider this particular user as an example. She is willingly taking a risk for her daughter and grandchildren, which is a terrible darn tragedy. Seriously, the disappointment is almost palpable through the television. The user is astounded by Shirley's activities and the risks she is prepared to endure for her daughter and grandchildren in addition to herself. Many people agree with this idea, shaking their heads in unison at the utter absurdity of it all. The following statement follows. 
I'd heard that the authorities went through his cell phone looking for evidence and that's how they found all these other disgusting things. Just goes to demonstrate how far Ernesto is down the rabbit hole, don't you think? The authorities dug through his cell phone and found a ton of disgusting information. In conclusion, we are all in awe of the tale involving Shirley Strawberry and her husband, Ernesto Williams. Shirley's staunch support of Ernesto despite the increasing evidence against him raises concerns about her devotion and judgment. Will justice be served or will Shirley defend her husband in the face of such unsettling claims? It's time for us to hear from you now. What do you think about this scandalous event? Do you think Shirley should keep defending her husband or should she finally accept the truth? Tell me in the comments section below. Folks, that is all for now. I appreciate you spending the day with me so much. Thanks for watching our video don't forget to like and comments also subscribe our channel for more videos.